You're either growing or you're falling behind. It's as simple as that. People with philosophy get caught up in all these different ideas and all these different perspectives, you know, and people really love to talk about all these different things and all these different components and all these different protocols and ways of doing things like which way should I do it? You know, like how, when should I get sunlight? Should I get sunlight straight away or should I get more circulation in the morning or should I take a cold shower? Should I be doing Wim Hof? What sort of breathing should I be doing? Should I be doing alternate nostril? And you know, people just get caught up so much in the clouds and especially in, in today's day and age, you know, it's so easy to get caught up in all these different ideas and all these different components. And I myself have got lost in all these different rabbit holes, you know, like what sort of meditation should I do? How long should I meditate? And it's not really what you do that's important. It's just doing it. You know, like perfectionism is just fear of actually doing the action, you know, and if you're not actually taking the action, if you're not actually doing the things that you need to do, that you know that you need to do, then you're not going to grow. And this is just simple. It's just simply taking action on the things, you know, like that's working out, you know, what you should be doing with that, you know, whether you want to gain weight, lose, mu gain weight, gain muscle, lose weight or whatever it is that you want to do. Or whether you want to become a YouTuber, it's just about creating videos and doing it. And whether you want to become stronger and have the benefits of cold showers, you know, that's, that's such a big practice for me, especially recently is every morning when I wake up, I take a cold shower and I've done this many times in my life. And I find that I'm better when I do it because every morning your brain will go through every single excuse not to take it. Oh, I've worked myself hard. My nose is feeling a little sniffly. Maybe I shouldn't cold shower today. And your brain will create all these different ideas, all these different tricks to make you not take a cold shower. And it's so much worse, as Seneca says, we suffer so much more in imagination than we do in reality. And once you just go into the cold shower, you're like, you're shocked for a little bit, but then you're like, oh, this is actually all right. I can actually survive this. And by me sticking to this habit and doing it, just shows me, proves to myself that my brain gets in my own way and that I can do a lot more things. And that's what we need to be doing, going out and doing things because Doing things is hard, but that's what we need to be doing. We need, we need to be working out more. We need to be just eating healthy. It's not like, oh, what diet should I get on? I just want to study what diet I should be on first. It's like, no, just eat healthy. You know what it is. It's eating more whole foods and, you know, taking steps for yourself. And this idea may seem really extreme. Like you've just got to keep doing things, you know, kind of military and I myself have a masochistic tendency. I tend to like to inflict pain on myself. Like if I'm struggling through something, I'll sometimes I will just try and avoid it by um, shutting myself down with so much sensory input that my brain just has to shut down. You know, like <laughs> it's funny, the more that I kind of spend time, this is just an example around girls or something, especially ones that I like, or that I find attractive, you know, I find myself shutting down, getting very anxious with it because I just have trouble with it. And I think a lot of people do, but I seem to struggle with it a lot and I get very caught up in my head. And the more that I seem to do that, the more I want to escape and work out harder and work harder and just work on myself where that's just like a fear thing, you know, like I am working out enough already. I don't need to keep punishing myself and try so hard to grow myself as a person and just kind of accept myself as a person and, you know, understand that I, that's the step that I need to take is being more open and honest with women and around women, especially when I'm attracted to them. And that sucks as well. It's like the cold shower idea. And this brings another important point about this philosophy idea. It's not just about doing things and doing more. It's about having the right balance, the sustainable balance because you know it's easy to get all caught up and try and go too far and do too much or it's easy to stay in like your comfort zone and kind of not do enough but to go in that middle zone and have that kind of balance where you're leaning against your edge every day where you're making a little bit of growth every day where you're in a bit of discomfort every day and you keep pushing that until it grows bigger and bigger you know taking rest when you need this is like growing muscle you don't want to overstimulate the muscle. There's like a right amount to stimulate the muscle and a right amount of 
protein and nutrients that you want without gaining too much fat, whatever. That's just an analogy to kind of make this point seem more succinct. <sighs> well, so what I'm trying to say is that oftentimes we know what we should be doing, you know, like we know, oh, I should be resting here. I'm trying to push myself too hard or oh, I should be working out a bit more. I should make a habit of that. Oh, I should be, you know, meditating more so I'm more focused and calm or oh, I should actually be going and speaking to girls a little bit more. I should be more open and honest with them because at the end of the day, you're either doing these things or you're not. And it's just as simple as that. Thank you for watching. I hope you're having a good day and I'll see you in the next video.